Hi all, this is Skate, and this is the IS-3 Defender, which you can obviously see twirling around the screen right now. It's the new Tier 8 Premium Heavy Tank, and there's a lot of speculation as to what this tank is, so I thought I would share and make this video as to what information I do know is confirmed on the tank. Which is, yes, it is an autoloader, and I do mean an autoloader in the true sense of it does have a clip with three shells, rather than just automatic loader. There's a lot of confusion with this and the IS-3A. This tank is in the game and is a proper autoloader. The IS-3A is not in the game yet. Well, not for the likes of us normal folk anyway. So I won't see any more on the IS-3A and just concentrate on this Defender. So I'll keep it short and sweet as I know when I'm recording videos like this I am boring as fuck and you'd rather me be editing stupid videos. Which I am in the process of doing and will be uploaded within the next few days. But on with this video. Engine first off, it has 620 brake horsepower. Compared to the IS-3 with 700 brake horsepower, this Defender is going to be much slower. I would actually put it towards, as a comparative, something like the ST1 type speed. Which obviously isn't the end of the world, but something which, well, if you're used to driving the IS-3, you're not going to expect. The stock engine on the IS-3 has 650 brake horsepower, which is still much more than this one. The hull is identical, 110 front, 90 to the sides, and 60 on the rear. It's exactly the same as a normal IS-3. The turret, on the other hand, is different. The turret, or top turret, on the IS-3 has 220 all around. This has 249 at the front, with 172 at the rear and a measly 100 on the sides. I can't tell, looking at it, if the angle is more sloped and it's compensated by the armor angle, but I'm going to assume it's just going to be really crappy armor on the side of that. So basically, play it hull down. And by this point in the video, you're all thinking, come on, monkey boy, get to the gun. So the gun has higher DPM than the normal IS-3. Normal IS-3 has 1656 with the top gun, and this has 1800 biggest difference there is the IS-3 will do that damage consistently over the minute and this will do 1200 damage in 15 seconds and then obviously have to run off and hide there is a really crappy drawing I did just to show an example of how it would work you got your 25 second reload 7.5 seconds between each of the shells I genuinely explained this to someone yesterday and they told me I was clearly wrong, there's three shells in the clip, it's 7.5 seconds between each. No, between shell 1 and 3 you have your 25 second reload, how that works. Aim time, 3.4 seconds, nothing to say there, exactly the same as the IS-3. The dispersion though, on the IS-3 it's 0.4 which is bad to be fair, and on this it's bloody awful, it's 0.43. So yeah, make sure you, um, well, fully let it aim. On a happier note in regards to the gun though, it's got 7 degrees of gun depression. The normal IS-3 has 5. That's a big difference. That would really make a hell of a difference, so I look forward to that myself personally. Ammo wise, it fires APCR standard, but only has 221 penetration. It does mean with it being APCR, the shell velocity is faster, which means it'll be easier to hit a moving target. And the heat ammo has 270 penetration on it. Only other thing I forgot to mention is this will have 1550 hit points, which is actually 50 more than the fully upgraded IS-3. I think that pretty much wraps everything up on that tank, really. Only other thing is when and how can you get it. As you can see at the bottom, to receive the tank, complete all stages of the mission on time. Effectively, Tankenstein style missions, except it's believed you will need 704,000 XP this time round to get this tank. I don't know in what sort of time frame, whether it's going to be 14 days or something like that. And in regards to when, it's believed it will be around the Defender of the Fatherland holiday in Russia which is the 23rd of February, so we should be expecting to see these missions start around then. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. I will be posting the What the Blitz episode 5 in the next day or so, so keep an eye on the channel. Also, please feel free to subscribe and like, and obviously leave any comments below. Happy tanking!